Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, I was going to leave this alone, but I decided once again, here we go again with the bullshit and the inconsistency. And once again, people, you know, taking their blinders off or putting in their earplugs when it comes to certain subjects. When it's not in favor to them, then all of a sudden they don't want to hear it. They don't want to, uh, you know, listen to it. They don't want to listen to logic. Then here, you know, they want to make excuses. But then when something fits their narrative and they need, then here they come. Like, I don't like that type of shit. Stay consistent with this shit. Real talk, man. Stay consistent. At the end of the day, um, I'm going to talk about that probably in the next video uh, about an issue that I have uh, with fans and just other other content creators. So I'm just going to keep it 100. But this comes straight from my heart. Uh, this is the top of my off the top of my head. I want people to understand something. I have my own mind. I follow my own mind. I go by what I believe. I go by my standards. Like I said, I'm not trying to manipulate none of y'all. I'm presenting facts to you guys best I can. As I said before, I'm going to these events. I'm seeing what's happening behind the scenes. Now, all of a sudden, everybody then started making a video, pushing the, the you know, record button. You know, uh, now all of a sudden that Danny, Danny Garcia then had his fake call out. And that's exactly what it is. Is a fake call out. Rumor on the streets is that Danny Garcia wants like $10 million to fight Bud. So he definitely ain't going to get that. So basically he's pricing himself out. Now I've already. And, and then here's the thing. Now you know Danny Garcia hollering about. Tell, tell uh, Bob Arum or whatever the case may be. Or Terrence Crawford to send him a real, a real offer. Okay, well, wait a minute, Danny. I thought you said you never got an offer. So now all of a sudden it went from never getting an offer to getting a real offer. So just like I said, there was an offer to fight Terrence Crawford. He said no. And let's put two and two together. This is for the logical people that have common sense. Because now it's getting to the point to where this this this, this fan fanboy shit is beginning to really become a pain in the ass to content creators. You know, the people that's out there really trying to give an honest assessment of what's going on. But people are so infatuated by the myth of this one guy that's like standing up and doing all that's good for the boxing community and the black community, which ain't remotely fucking true. You still got people that's really on that hype train because you got a few or quite a few people pushing that narrative when that ain't even the case. I presented several, several, several pieces of evidence that that wasn't true. And as I said before, I don't have a horse in the race. And I keep telling you this. I want something to be recognized. And I want to explain something to you. As a dude that covered these fights, I didn't got into it with both sides. I didn't got into it with people at top rank about some of the stuff I didn't put out or some of the videos then got letters and all that type of shit. And then the other side of the street, I didn't got letters about certain content. I didn't got, you know, that I didn't put out. So you can't win for losing. You know what I'm saying? You can't win for losing. You try to be neutral as possible. But then at the end of the day, you, you not allowed to be neutral, which I'm going to continue to be neutral. It's to the point I'm not worried about, you know, being at fights. If I want to go to a fight, I'll go to a fight on my own dime. I admit quite a few people. I can get interviews. With or without a credential. So I'm past that point. I got these dudes phone numbers. All that type of shit. Emails. I can set up phone interviews. I can do all that shit. It's not a problem. T Grizzly. No effort. But at the end of the day. So let me get this straight. This is the Manny Pacquiao formula too. You call somebody out when you already then signed a deal to fight somebody else. 
How about this, Danny Garcia? Why don't you wait till after more than likely you defeat Ivan, whatever his name is, then you call out Bud Crawford? Because due to the fact that he finally didn't say it, so now here come the people. Ooh, see, see, I told you, I told you. I don't listen to them dudes. I'm my own man. I'll follow my own script. Y'all got to ask yourself, where was this call out a few days after the fight? As soon as you sign to fight somebody else, then here you come. Now, I want to see, should you be successful next month? Make sure you keep that same energy. Make sure you talk that same shit. You You got an offer. You turned it down. And then people saying, oh, well, why couldn't he get the same amount of money that Amir Khan got? He should have asked for it. But he's not going to get $10 million. Because we all know there ain't that type of money out there for him. Not with the resume he has. Now, maybe if he was undefeated. Yeah. He might could pull that off. But he has what? Three losses. Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman. Um, Sean Porter. He has two or three losses. So if he was still undefeated, then he might could pull that off. Let's not make it look like he been blowing through people. People love to talk about Jeff Horn and he wasn't a real fight and all that type of shit. He was a real fight a couple of years ago. He was a real fight after he beat Manny Pacquiao. Y'all loved him for beating Manny Pacquiao. See, this is what I mean by y'all don't stay consistent with this shit. It was all good a couple of years ago. Y'all thought that was the greatest thing in the world when he beat Manny Pacquiao. But as soon as somebody else fought him, then all of a sudden, because within the last year and after he had beat Jeff Horn, it was all good. But then when you had certain YouTubers turning this into a black versus black thing, then all of a sudden the hate came. It turned from, you know, it turned from supporting him to not supporting him. Then people was pushing these, the narrative, the whole top rank and all that type of shit. When you uh, about, you know, not doing right by him. Well, you know what? The other side of the street got quite a few, uh, um fighters that's not happy and see here's something else every once in a while these dudes go public and say hey you know i'm gonna fight this dude i'm gonna fight that dude then all of a sudden they go back to fighting the in-house fighters how many times have you seen this so let me get this straight all of a sudden the dude that the other side of the street didn't even acknowledge. Now, all of a sudden he calls them out. Other people calls them out. And then all of a sudden, Ooh, I'm mad. I'm angry. Um, you know what I'm saying? Bruce Banner, I'm turning green. Now I want to fight. And you saying Terrence Crawford will be the biggest fight of your career of his career. Well, Terrence Crawford, Danny would be the biggest fight of your career. Cause so far you ain't really been beating down motherfuckers like you supposed to, because, two of the main dudes i guess you could say the fabulous four you know i guess that would be you errol spence keith thurman and sean porter and then i guess you could say the og manny pacquiao well here's the thing out of the fabulous four you didn't lost the two of them and then you was reluctant to fight errol spence So to me, this is a fake call out, but I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Because people just got hit, got it hell bent. They just want to blame one person no matter what. And that's all it come down to. But I told you, I'm not doing that shit. You can go somewhere else. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, don't come on here talking that triple b shit because i know where that come from anybody put that in the comment section i'm blocking your ass i'm gonna erase your comment and i'm blocking your ass and don't say oh we can't say what we want to say nope you're not bringing that bullshit you're not bringing that bullshit and it's to my channel you're not bringing that div that divisiveness to my channel you're not bringing that bullshit here 
You can call the man Bud. You can call him Terrence. You can call him all that kind of shit. Don't come with that triple B shit. Because I'm telling you now, as soon as I see that shit on my channel, I'm blocking y'all asses. This my shit. I run it the way I want to. You don't like how I run my, my ship? Don't bring your ass on here. Don't get on deck. Or you can jump overboard. Zero tolerance for that shit. All of a sudden, when he was calling these dudes out over a year ago, it came to, oh, well, he's with the wrong promoter. Now, all of a sudden, you got dudes finally responding after they act like the man didn't exist. Then here you guys come. See, 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 man, stop it. This shit is whack, man. It's corny. It's lame now. It's played out. Don't call nobody out when you got another opponent already on deck. The thing is with the guys on the other side, this is absolutely true. They don't be knowing who they going to fight. A lot of times. But they know it's going to be somebody that's in the same, uh, you know, same side of the street. I keep telling you. They ain't trying to make fights with the other guy. I know that to be fact. Danny Garcia's call out is fake as fuck you listening to dudes that ain't doing a research that ain't going to these fights that ain't talking to people do i think these fights need to be made absolutely absolutely And we still waiting for Sean to officially call out Bud Crawford and say he want the fight. And then Danny Garcia's call out was fake as hell. You wait till you sign to fight another dude. Last time I checked. Shout out to the great Nipsey Hussle. Philly ain't that far. Philly ain't that far from um from New York. Without traffic, depending on which direction you go, you get to Philly. You know what I'm saying? You get to New York from Philly in like an hour and 25 minutes, depending on what a, what, what part of Philly you in. So why didn't Danny Garcia, if he was really serious, why didn't he go pull up? I mean, he pulled up on Sean Porter. See, that's what I'm saying. If these dudes so serious about fighting these dudes, why didn't they pull up? Why didn't they go to the damn fight? He could have got up in there. How about this, Danny Garcia? Since you so serious, since you say you want to fight, bud, this going to prove this going to really this, this this is going to prove where Danny Garcia really is. Invite Bud to your fight. How about that? Invi invite Bud to your fight at the Barclay Center January the 25th. And should you win the fight, you publicly call Terrence Crawford out. This is why I fuck with Deontay Wilder. Before he fought Ortiz, he publicly said, hey, man, let's do it. You calling me out? OK, answer your phone Monday. That's what Danny Garcia need to do. You want to impress me, Danny Garcia? You bring Terrence Crawford. You bring him there. You win that fight and you publicly say, hey, I want to fight you. All this doing interviews, saying you want to fight people. That's going in one ear and out the other. You know what I'm saying? Why did it take Tim Bradley for you guys to finally grow a tail and say, hey, uh, I'll fight him. But once again, this could be a pump fake. Because like I said before, you ignored all the facts that I presented to you guys. There was an offer. Now, all of a sudden, he pretty much admitting that it was an offer. Talked about now, uh, send me a real offer. Uh, let me ask you something. Why is it when people say, hey, we sent somebody an offer, all of a sudden, I ain't, I ain't heard nothing. But you constantly say, hey, man, I work for me. I work for me. I work for me. 
I'm my own boss. I'm my own promoter. Hey, man, do you want to fight so-and-so? Hey, man, uh, call Al Heyman. Al Heyman is your advisor. Yes or no? At the end of the day, the fight only going to be made if Al Heyman and Floyd okay it. So to a certain degree, you do kind of got a ball. So, you know, no matter how much you guys try to front. The, hey, if Al Heyman and if Al Heyman and Floyd okay it, then it might happen. But then they may say, hey, we'll give you this dude. Take two million dollars, possibly beat him. And then we'll set up another fight with you that you may end up winning. Because at the end of the day, Bud is a risk for anybody, no matter how much people want to deny it. But yeah, I ain't buying Danny Garcia's fake uh, fake call out. Fake as fuck. And like I said, y'all got to show some consistency for real. The people that listen to my channel. Because at the end of the day, you put your blinders on and you put your earplugs in when you don't want to listen to something. But then when somebody says something that you want to hear, then all of a sudden, then you start bumping your gums. Show some consistency. Real talk. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.